they gank him, he, he should have no trouble at all. And you know the funny thing about that stat is, Storm averages 10.6 kills together with Omni Knight. So from what I understood, Chrissy has had... Oh, there's your first blood. Very easy first blood as well for the Juggernaut. Or the Cloak. <laughs> Noob. Please report tied. Bottom lane though. Uh oh. There are shackles on Ryo. Early TP coming out too late. Lucent Beam will be used in conjunction with an Aether Shock. Gets the kill. Oh. BG, Death Ball Dota. It's back, they say. And I don't even think there's a Blink or Ryo on your axe. Now they're going to Omni Knight ult just to try and keep Jo alive a bit longer. The Eclipse coming out. Enough to bring him down as that Omni Slash ends. Now Chrissy trapped, dealt with. BG watching their base burn. They're not split pushing. They have the storm behind BG. They get off the blink call, but nobody even takes damage from this. Now the Ravage, that's on three. Eclipse to follow it up, also on three. Easy double kill for Burning Storm. Trying to make his move on the back lines, but he ended up getting killed off by the Shadow Shaman. And well, that's all she wrote, Sind. A 15 minute GG. TI4 finals all over again. <laughs> Lumi has been talking about TI3 finals today. We're talking about TI4, baby. So, so what about I was RTK? Say, okay, so he get he gets a Ravage in then. But I was about to say, you know what? If you have a Tide who has a history of missing Ravages, just build a lineup where he doesn't even need to cast it. <laughs> where just the threat of them... He, he doesn't need to make an amazing Ravage. Like, this last one wasn't even necessary. This was literally a game... That